Hey guys, Beast from Beast Toys here coming at you tonight. Going to do an opening of a first order, celebrate the Saga Pack. Uh, as you can see, we got five, well, more than five. If you count the mouse droid, uh, five figures. Now, every one of these packs pretty much came with a droid. <clears throat> um, I had to look over because I got one. Got the Empire one sitting here. I'll do it later or another time. Um, got it close. Uh, it has a droid. I know the Jedi pack has a droid. And the uh, Republic pack, oddly enough, has a droid, but it's a battle droid. Um, converted battle droid. Anyway, so these uh, retail at $29.99. Um, <clears throat> I actually had thought these were exclusive to Best Buy, but uh, for some reason, or maybe they were when they first came out, but uh, I was able to get these on GameStop. Um, I got these for 18, right at about 18 bucks a piece. So I bought a few more. Um, I only ordered uh, the first couple, or one of each, uh, the first time around um, <clears throat> because of you know money. Uh, obviously, sometimes I had to watch watch on my buy spending, so I had to be careful at the time that like, these were out. Um, obviously I buy a lot of Black Series and then some G.I. Joe classified so I think these came out the same time as some other Black Series stuff so I didn't want to go uh, overboard on these but I knew I had a pretty good feeling that to come around and you'd be able to get them cheaper so <clears throat> if you want to get a, grab a pack of these um, as before Patrick from Hasbro says before they hit the vault for a while um, you can wait and find a sale on these and get them for 20 bucks or so or under maybe not much probably you know I don't know that you'll find many of these for a while. You might, they make clearance them out later on. Somebody might down to 15 or 10 bucks. I don't know. We'll see. If they do, uh, I'd buy, you know, for 10 bucks, I'd buy several of these. Um, just to use for troop builders, obviously, for various reasons, especially the Empire one. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to open one of these. Um, I've already opened my Sith pack, so uh, I did that before I started. I did that when I first got them. I, I did buy two of the Sith pack and two of the Galactic Republic pack because they had clone troopers. Couldn't help myself. But uh, in this case, I only bought one of these. Originally, I was just going to put one away, but as, <clears throat> excuse me, just got done eating and got hiccups. As you can see, uh, packaging on this one wasn't great. There's a ding somewhere, top corner. So both corner both top corners actually all top corners except well this one doesn't have a ding but these three these three do so <clears throat> um didn't ship well so i had figured at some point i was going to get another one thank goodness i did this was my original one and then the other one i got from gamestop came just fine and um, they all did actually i ordered seven different ones or seven total <clears throat> i think I ordered five different ones two of each two of each of the empire and the uh um republic pack <clears throat> anyway, let's take a look at these guys and <clears throat> see what we got here. So these are all five POA figures. <clears throat> First up, we got a flame trooper. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this is a very similar from the mold of the Force Link and the Force Awakens. Um, the difference here is, I believe, I don't recall, but I believe that this, this hand here... Um, this arm wasn't bent in quite like this, so they did make a little update, I think. I don't know. I'll have to go back and look and uh, compare. <clears throat> Excuse me. Had chili, so not quite settling well or getting down there. It was thick. <clears throat> so you can set this up. They've got this pretty much set up where he can uh, put it. Yeah, there we go. He can hold it in his hand this way. Then, of course, you're going to plug this into the backpack. Oh, boy. If I don't break that on, wow. That was very quick. I thought that would fit in there better, and it didn't. Um, be careful. It's a little flimsy. There we go. All right. So, uh, hint, if you uh, get one of these and open one up, be very careful plugging this piece hose in. Um, it's a little flimsy. Uh, you could looks like I could have broke that very easily. Surprised that I did not push that in really good. Okay, so this guy looks pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> maybe the original does have bent arms. I have to go back and look. He sets up nice, so he'll he'll be cool. 
to uh, let me see the front and back. Cool to set up. Um, the next one is, is, is a different one that uh, we did not quite get one. We got one similar, but not quite. He didn't have the uh, pauldron on his shoulder or whatever you call that thing. Officer one. Um, this guy looks more like he came from um, the one in the last, Je or uh, I always want to say Last Jedi, Rise of Skywalker. <clears throat> um, this pack thing can kind of, you can maneuver this, but it doesn't come off. It, it can be moved a little bit. As you can see, it's a little loose on his body. Not, not much. But, uh, so this is basically an officer, first order stormtrooper officer. And uh, you could get him in a force link. He came in a force link pack. He's he's the same mold as a regular. He's got where you could clip on a uh, the side little pistol they got, but he does not have one. Does not come with one. He came in a force link. He was kind of hard to find at one point in time. Um, ironically, later on, Five Below did get some of these. <clears throat> um, not sure. I never did find one in store. I pretty much with Five Below. I have one uh, relatively close, about 35, 40 minutes away, but. Um, nothing good in quite some time, but um, at one time <clears throat> they did have several Force Link figures that I was looking for at least one more. Or the Han, come the Han Minban was a very big one, surprisingly. Um, I know, I, I'm a, I guess I got suckered in. I bought one I know on Amazon for like 18 bucks when they're originally like eight. So, um, but anyway, <clears throat> he came in a Force Link pack. He also came in a Coles four pack with uh, Luke, the Luke, and. Uh, Luke Ray and um, Rose, I think, want to say somebody like that in, in the Coles four pack. Um, so he came into that, but he wasn't uh, as easy to find as some of the other ones. So there he is. Uh, try to show him front and back. Okay, next we have Captain Phasma. Not a very popular figure. Um, I don't believe a lot of people don't really care for her. Um, She's okay. Uh, I, I like the fact that they took a, a stormtrooper design, colored him different, and gave him an actual character. Um, kind of like Captain Cardinal and uh, Captain Pyre. Um, you do get those. Um, I don't know much about either one in their backstories. <clears throat> I believe Commander Pyre is in Resistance. I just started watching it um, uh, several days ago. I watched the first two episodes. That's all I've gotten to. Um, I'm pretty much caught up on everything Star Wars, with, with the exception of Resistance. But from what I've read, people, I, I take it with a grain of salt because that's just how I am. I try to find the good in all Star Wars, but people say it's not a very good show. Um, but Oscar Isaac does voice over Poe. Uh, he was in the first episode so far anyway. Um, that was a surprise. Didn't expect that. I figured they'd get a, a voice actor. So <clears throat> this is your... Normal stormtrooper body and kind of want to look. Uh, ironically, I don't know. I can't put my finger on, but he's got this phasma's got a clip here, <clears throat> like it would have the little small pistol, like the stormtrooper. So it's like they used the stormtrooper mold, but this one's taller. When you when you hold it up, there's taller. Um, you can see the difference, but at any rate, um, like I said, phasma's is okay character. Um, I do, like I said, I like that they use that. I, I just, I like Imperial characters. There's all, they're always colorful, uniform, um, difference in uniforms, uh, when they have, you know, got like Phasma compared to a regular Stormtrooper, um, Mandalorian's armor, you know, Stormtroopers and Figures that wear armor are always cool. I just that's that's my kind. That's up that's up my line. I just I like the colorfulness. I like the very vari variations you get. Here's General Hux. Not again. Not really a popular figure in the uh, sequel trilogy. I thought he was okay. I definitely was. <clears throat> I, I found a lot of the comedy and the, the what they did with him in Rise of the Skywalker. I hated how they punked him out at the end when that one dude just uh, General Pride shot him. But whatever. Um, but I liked when Oscar Isaac's like, what? what? He's the and, and Finn are like, you're the you're you're the mole, <clears throat> you know. Of course, this famous. I don't care who wins. I just don't want Kylo Ren to win. <clears throat> kind of deal. 
which turns out, of course, Kylo turns good at the end, so um, I don't know how that pans out. <clears throat> they just didn't like each, like each other, obviously, but he's cool. And then, of course, the last two figures, so to speak, <clears throat> you get your mouth destroyed, which um, in the Force Slink version, I believe it is, uh, uh, General Hux comes with the mouth destroyed, I believe. And then your BB-9, <clears throat> cool figure. Uh, he also, you can get this in a three-pack with Rose and BB-8. <clears throat> the uh, First Order Officer Rose and BB-8 comes in that Force Link pack also. So these are all repacks in Force Link. Uh, I'd be curious. I don't have it. Hey, I think the batteries are dead. It's Actually, I think it's right over there in a, in a drawer. Um, but I think the batteries are dead. Otherwise, I'd probably get it out and wave them and see if they would read Force Link. Um, if they'd come up with their force link, but at any rate, um, these are probably out of the pack, my two favorite figures, obviously, but you know, as I always say, I love troopers, so can't go wrong with troopers and troop building, but, uh, anyway, there it is, uh, I'll show you the box, I don't know if I showed you the back, I'll hold up the back so you can see the, uh, there's the figures, of course, what we got out of the box. And I'll stop it right about there. Hopefully you can see the bio or the uh, little um, paragraph or two that it gives you about First Order. So, again, this is a Celebrate the Saga pack. They came out with, what was it, five of these, I believe? Five different ones or six different, six different ones? No, actually seven. Um, <clears throat> I just didn't choose to buy any more extra of the, uh, I didn't, only bought one of the Resistance Pack and only bought one of the uh, Rebel Alliance Pack. Um, I would probably go back and get another Rebel Alliance Pack, though, because of who's in it. <coughs> um, we got, I think, Luke and Han and Leia and Chewie and C. I think that's the one, or maybe R2 or 3PO, I can't remember. One of them's in the Resistance Pack, one of them's not, but... Anyway, uh, I'm going get, to get one of those eventually one of these days. I'll try to catch, catch that on sale, but... Uh, just want to show those off. So, again, um, as always, thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button if you want to check out more of my video openings. And, uh, oh, there goes my BB-9. <clears throat> but uh, one last look at these dudes here. Uh, if you like these kind of figures, they can, like I said, you wait for a sale. You can probably grab these on sale for a reasonable price. Uh, I know some Best Buy stores are going out of business. Unfortunately, the one closest to me, which is right by the five below I go to, about 40 minutes away, is closing for good. Um, I, I, I would say they just don't generate the business. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I can still, you'll still be able to order online. You should be able to find these. Check GameStop if you decide you want these. <clears throat> um, or even Best Buy. Keep your eye on the website. They probably will have some sales on them. Um, honestly, I wouldn't pay 30 bucks for them. Um, I think the 1999 and under would fit this um, these type of figures better, but I think you'll be able to grab these for under retail. Uh, one of the few times you're gonna hear me on video say that too. Uh, it seems like everything I open or go for it, he just especially with Black Series and Joes, you're just not gonna get them under retail. But um, these guys, I think you will. So anyway, uh, cool. Cool figures, of course. Like I said, I, I don't mind five POA figures. They don't bother me. Grew up basically with them, and uh, so used to was used to playing with them as a kid. But uh, you can't go wrong with Star Wars either way. But anyway, hit that like and subscribe button, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, I'm Bees from Beast Toys. We'll see you.